As we know, adding value is a critical point to any business development, the development of raving fans, loyalty, and always trying to give people more than what they expect. But there's one big reason why adding value can actually stop you achieving the patient outcomes that you want. And I'm gonna explore that right now. So here's the thing, let's make sure that we give value, let's make sure that we do everything we can to take out their challenges, preempt any questions they might have, and that we do everything we can in that scenario to make sure that the whelm is right. They're not underwhelmed and go leave thinking, hang on a sec, there wasn't really much chop to that. Okay, we wanna make sure that we do that first and foremost. We wanna make sure that we get them in place so that they understand what we're trying to do, that we have the right expectations in place and that they know what those expectations are. We want them to also be in place so that they understand about the accountability that they need to do and what the next steps we believe will be in place. Right? We wanna create them to be able to be loyal to us, to like ourselves and like our brand, to become raving fans, but Let's make sure we just check some of those extra actions. Primarily, it's a time-based factor most of the time. We try and give more value by the understanding that by giving more of our time, we're giving more value. And that fundamentally is one of the biggest challenges right now. We need to make sure that we don't just keep talking. We don't just keep going on. We don't try and rephrase things three times. If we've already summarized it and we've taken them through the patient pathway and they know the journey, they understand the implications of what they need to do and not do, they know about the accountability side, they understand the expectations, guys, stop. That's plenty. That's all we need to do. We don't need to continually move forward because we feel like we've got to go for another four minutes to the end of the hour as if we're not giving enough value based on time. And that is one of the biggest misconceptions in the health industry. Especially young practitioners believe that if we have, them for, have someone for a 45 minute consult and we take them out after 40 minutes, that they're going to complain that they didn't get the value. Here's the thing guys, ultimately at the end of the day, people don't care about the time, they care about the outcome. They want the outcome that they're coming to you for in the very first place. They want to be able to get out of pain. They want the strength. They want to be able to move forward and uh, play with their kids, run around in the park, compete in that sporting event, etc. That's the outcome that they're wanting. They don't really care ultimately whether it takes you 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Ultimately, they want it done as quickly as possible. They want it done in a week, not six weeks. So don't get confused with I'm not giving them enough value if I shorten down a session's length, all right? If they're wanting a one hour massage with a massage therapist because they just wanna lie there and feel better and just go through the process, then fundamentally, if after 40 minutes you're saying, that's it, you're done, they've got the right to complain and say there wasn't value. So I get that and we understand that. But in the allied health industry, we need to make sure that we understand that it's not about time, it's about the outcome. And one of the biggest things we need to make sure is we don't compromise the outcome for us just blabbering on, taking more people time-wise during a consultation. We want to make sure that we're sharp, we're succinct. And yes, that may mean that we can shorten down our consults and see more people in a shorter period of time. It may be good for client numbers, it may be good for business growth, it may be good for cash flow, etc. That's all fantastic and they're all positives moving forward, but we need to make sure that we are in a situation where first and foremost, we provide the right amount of value and we're aiming everything towards the patient outcome. If they want a solution A, we need to gear everything towards solution A. And don't get fooled by the misconception that they are wanting time. They don't want time, they want the outcome. And so here's the final thoughts on this right now. If you believe that you're giving the right amount of value, that's fantastic. I think it's probably not a bad thing to ask some of your colleagues or ask uh, you know, your, your coach, your mentor, or me, etc. why don't you actually ask and check the time you're spending with clients, whether it's the right amount of time, based on the outcome that you're actually getting. 
Because here's the thing, if you're doing one hour appointments, I guarantee you could do that in 45. If you're doing 45 minutes appointments, there's a very strong chance you can do all of that inside 30 minutes. So here's the thing, by you believing that you're giving more value by just giving more time, in many respects, you're actually going to limit the, or potentially limit the patient outcome being achieved. And you're also going to stagnate the ability for your business and your team to grow. So I'm not saying you can do it in 10 minutes though either. Let me just put that in place as well. So here's the biggest thing right now. If you are aiming for raving fans and you want more loyalty, and I'm telling you now it's great for your business to give value. Make sure you give the right amount of value. Maybe just take a few moments to think about the value you're actually giving. Because for a lot of people, the value is in the follow-up. The value is in the extra accountability. The value is in some of the touch points in the ongoing touch point management. Some of that might be getting them extra information through digital mediums, okay? And giving them more things later. They don't want everything now because if they want everything now, you're going to give them too much and they're going to get paralysis. They're not going to get the right uh, the right expectations in place. They're not going to be sure about the right accountability. They'll get confused. They'll get muddled up. And when they get into that situation, as the saying goes, a confused mind buys nothing. In the exact same situation, a confused client also will do nothing. And when they do nothing, they're not accountable. They don't meet the expectations that we're wanting. They don't follow the plan that we've got mapped out. And as a net result, they don't get the patient outcomes that they want, nor we want. So that's it, guys. That's what you need to do. You need to address what you're doing. You need to get uh, understanding that there's value adds very important. And we need to get to a certain point to get those raving fans. But it's not about time. Don't just keep talking, don't just keep going through and over and over and over again because you'll create confusion, you'll create overwhelm, they'll get stagnant, they won't do it, they won't get uh, the accountability in place, expectations aren't matched, they'll stop doing their exercises, they don't get the outcome, they won't like it, you won't like it, everyone gets frustrated, that doesn't help anyone. So get the whelm right, get the right level of value in place, but don't just keep going on and on about the time and giving them more time because time's not what they want, they want the solution be solution orientated, be goal orientated, cut down the time where you can, be short, be sharp, be succinct, and you'll always get the patient outcome without giving too much value. Cheers for now. Hey guys, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Profitable Practice Podcast. I would love nothing more than for you to be able to leave a review. I get so much joy out of listening and reading the amazing things that you guys say about this. So please subscribe to our channel, leave a review and share it with your friends. Let's get some more fantastic information out there so all of us can grow the industry together. Cheers for now.